Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, so today I wanted to do kind of like a daytime glam kind of a look. Um, I am getting ready for class, so when you first start watching this video, I will have just woken up and my hair is a hot mess and I just look like, you know, how we all look in the morning in all of our glory. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to do this daytime kind of glamorous look for you guys. I am wearing lashes, but I feel like it's not too over the top because all of the shadows that I used are matte. I used this It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume 1 Matte Palette. They do have a Volume 2, but I only have the first one. Um, and the shades are really pretty. They're all matte, um, very warm tones. So I really love that palette. I haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to use it today. I hope you guys liked my last video. I was kind of experimenting with the, some new video editing software that I got. I updated, updated my computer and I got some new software so I'm able to do a lot more things like voiceovers. So I hope you enjoy the voiceovers. I'm having a lot of fun doing them. Um, I can be a little bit more creative as far as the music I put in. Um, then that kind of thing and I can pretty much say whatever I want and like talk you through it instead of just me like rambling on while I'm doing my eyeliner on camera. If you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching. So as always to start out I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I'm using this kind of as a moisturizer and as a primer for the rest of my makeup. Next I'm going to take this Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm just going to focus this right in the areas where I need it. So I have really large pores kind of on my cheek area around my nose and I tend to get oilier there so I also want to concentrate it on my cheeks, on my nose, my forehead and on my chin because that's where my makeup tends to get very oily and start to break up. And then I'm just priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as always. And then I'm going to go in with this IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Matte Palette and I'm taking those two neutral browns right there on a very, very fluffy synthetic brush and I'm just sweeping this back and forth in windshield wiper motions into the crease. This doesn't need to be very precise, these are just going to act as transition colors for the other shades we're going to put on top and it'll just help everything else blend very nicely. The worst thing you can do with your eyeshadow is have really, really harsh lines. You always want to make sure that everything's blended. As you can see, I am blending out rather far and high out because I have hooded lids, so I find that when I'm looking straight forward, my eyeshadow kind, kind of tends to disappear because I do have hooded lids, so I have to blend my eyeshadow more up and out than most people. And then I'm taking those two, two cream white um, shades with my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm just sweeping that over the mobile part of my lid kind of below where we put those crease colors. And this is, again is just going to brighten our eyes and make everything pop a little bit more. take that dark brown shade right there with a more precise fluffy brush, not as fluffy as the one we used earlier, and I'm just going to more precisely sweep that into the crease and kind of on the outer V area of our lid as well. So as you can see, I'm not being as messy as before, I'm making this very precise. And then what I'm doing here is I'm taking that brush from the very beginning with no extra product and I'm just going to blend those two together, again because we don't want any harsh lines. And then I'm going to go back and kind of deepen the pigment of that dark brown because I do want this to be kind of more of a glamorous look but still not too over the top so again just go back and forth with your precise brush kind of packing that brown color on there and then taking those super fluffy brush from the very beginning with no additional product and just blending everything together so as to create no harsh lines and then I'm gonna go in with this orangey warm kind of um, orange shade and I'm just gonna place that again in the crease just to we just want to create a lot of dimension and depth to our eyes this is just gonna add a nice fade from that dark brown to the beginning transition color and then to this orange color it's just gonna add a little bit of warmth and a lot more dimension Next, I'm just touching up those white shades from the very beginning. All that blending can kind of tend to um, lessen the pigmentation of those colors, so I just want to go back in and touch that up. And then I'm lining my eyes. Again, if you saw my last video, I'm not doing a line by any means. I'm just doing little dashes to create more thickness at the lash line. I will link that video down below if you haven't seen it. 
And then I'm gonna go in with my two foundations. These is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I'm mixing it with a little bit of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I was going for a very full coverage look today, and I find that the, these two foundations mixed together make my perfect shade, as well as they're very long lasting, which I was, um, I needed them to last for a while because I was gonna be wearing them all day. And I'm just um, smoothing and pressing that into the skin with a round top synthetic kabuki brush. And then I'm just going to set the center of my face with this All Day Luminous Setting Powder from NARS and I'm in the shade Medium 1 Poon Jab and I'm just using a large fluffy brush just to set the center of my face. I find that this powder does add a little bit more coverage but since this foundation is so heavy I don't want to put it all over my face because it might tend to look a little bit heavy. And then I'm just going to take this natural haired angled contour brush with my Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced and I'm just going to kind of warm up the skin a little bit and add a little bit of definition back in. So under my jawbone, on the tops of my temples, and under my jawline. And as always, I want to even that bronze out by bringing it a little bit on the side of my nose because I find that with my nose not having any kind of color on it, it tends to look a little strange. And then I'm going to take this Becca Under Eye Highlighter. This is only the second time I've ever used this product. I tend to use that um, NYX Correct and Conceal Palette, but I wanted to try this out to see if it is better. It is a little pricey. I got mine at Ulta, but I just wanted to see how it compared to that NYX at canceling out the um, blueness under my eyes. And I like it. I mean, it didn't blow me out of the water, but I do like it. And then I'm taking this um, same concealer that I always use. It is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Concealer. And I absolutely love this concealer, you guys. Seriously, best thing ever from the drugstore. And I'm just using a Sephora Pro Blending Brush to blend that out. And then I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Highlighting Powder with my F35 Sigma Highlighting Brush. And I'm just going to set my under eye. Sorry about the lighting going crazy. I do use natural lighting, so um, I kind of am at the mercy of the sun. <laughs> And then I'm going in with that same neutral brown shadow from before and I'm just blending that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that darker brown that we use more precisely in our crease and I'm just going to take that on a flat definer brush and blend that into the lash line. Again, you just want everything to be really natural and smoked out, so I'm blending with a Real Techniques base shadow brush, and then I'm just going to highlight my inner corners with those two matte white shades that we used before. And then I'm going to take this Super Shock Cheek in the color Holiday, and I'm going to use that on a duo fiber brush and just blend that onto my cheeks. I absolutely love this brush. blush. I think it gives a really great glow to the cheeks. And then I'm going to take this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Perfect Topping. It's just perfect. <laughs> I know why they called it Perfect perfect Topping, because look at that highlight. Can y'all see that? I freaking love this highlighter. It's amazing. Again, that's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping. And then I'm just going to fill in my brows. And I don't do anything too specific here. I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love this pencil. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I will not be repurchasing that because this NYX, NYX one is definitely half the price and the same quality. And then I'm going to set that with the NYX Tinted Brow Gel. And I'm also going to quickly curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curler and apply a few coats of Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I don't want to go too heavy on the mascara because we are just going to go in with false lashes here in a minute. And here I'm tight lining the upper waterline of my eye with this Sephora waterproof pencil. And if you need a pencil that doesn't smudge you guys, I would highly, oh, and there's my cat. Really, really wanted attention. And that's me calling my fiance to come and get this cat which he doesn't do because he's on the phone. And that was me just putting glue on the lash and here comes my cat again. So sorry about that you guys. Every time I put her down she just jumped back up. <laughs> But anyway, here I'm just putting on my lash. Um, I'm using the Andrea Strip Lash in number 53, I believe. They're just super, super natural. Again, I didn't want anything too over the top, and I'm just using tweezers to really, really push those onto my lash line. Because I didn't really put on a lot of liner, it's really important that you get these super close to your natural lashes, otherwise you'll be able to see a gap between your natural lashes and the fake ones, and that doesn't look very good in my opinion.
If you're, you've are you never put on false eyelashes before, don't worry about it. Practice makes perfect. It took me forever to learn how to... So sorry, I'm telling you. My cat really wanted attention. But anyway, um, practice makes perfect. I can tell you that I messed up my lashes a ton when the first time I put them on. But again, as you can see, I'm just really squeezing my natural lashes and the fake ones together and just pulling that band down as far as possible to my natural lash. And it really helps to use tweezers for this. And then I'm applying my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara to my bottom lashes while that lash glue dries on the top. And then to conceal that lash band, I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of the same liquid liner that we used before just to make everything look a little bit seamless. And then I'm going to go in with this MAC lip liner in the color Spice and I'm going to outline and fill in my entire lips with this. And then I'm going in with Japanese Maple. And I do dab a little bit of this off because I felt like it was a bit too much lipstick. It kind of looked over the top. But that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, it's just a really kind of simple look. Well, in my opinion, it's simple. Um, and it's easy to wear during the day because it's not like glittery or in your face. I didn't use any kind of crazy colors, but it still is a bit glamorous and kind of like a better version of yourself. So I feel a lot better when I wear a look like this, um, especially because I have lashes on and I feel like I have lashes. <laughs> um, Oh, another thing, always check the down bar for more information. Just if you click the little bar under this video, it says like show more or something. It, it'll it tell you um, a little bit more information that I put in there as well as a full list of products that I use. I'm not sure if everybody's been looking at that. Um, but the down bar is down there, so always check it for more information. And as always, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And share this with your friends too. If you're enjoying this video and getting some makeup tips, then, you know, share it with your friends so, so they can get some makeup tips too. Um, I plan on filming some more videos today, so you may see this look slash ensemble hairstyle again because I plan on doing a lot more videos. Um, and also, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. I have had some requests on my last video, so I plan on filming those today. Um, also, let me know if you prefer the voiceovers because I like voiceover. I mean, I don't know. I like a balance of both, like talk through here on camera and voiceover. So just let me know what you like better, and I'll try to do that. But yeah, I think that is all that I have to say. Check the down bar. Be sure to subscribe. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. All of that good stuff. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.